I'm getting ready to do some bacon and eggs this morning. So I got the rocket stove going. And I think I'm going to let it burn for a bit while I go get the food. And then uh, maybe it won't be so smoky. Making the pot so sooty. I'm going to have to find a way to clean that pot. Coffee this morning is instant coffee, sugar, and coffee mate. All measured out. I just dump it in and pour the water. We'll see how that goes. And there we are. There's uh, my coffee. So uh, I got that in the middle stainless steel water bottle. And so I don't burn my fingers. I got uh, a couple lines of duct tape around there. So that serves to insulate my hands. And it's a handy place to carry duct tape. And who doesn't need duct tape? Well, I'm just leaving uh, little Joe into baby Joe now. Stump, but there's a whole bunch of mud on top and grass and stuff. I wonder if that happens just from the forces of nature or, or if there's a, a beaver just starting to do some work here. Gonna get into some close quarters here. There's a 120 meter portage coming up, but uh, Jess Map says you can skip it. That might mean that it's mildly swift and kind of fun. It might mean that it's a boulder for you. And there's the portage right there. Let's see what we're in for. I think we're going to go ahead and skip this portage. And right away, we got an obstacle. A rock ridge that's just a couple inches below the water, below the water line. I think if I hug to the left, it'll be alright. A lot of paint on these rocks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it didn't even touch. Those are just sticks, they don't count. Okay, that was a rock.
So anyway, this uh, little close-in creek was part of my trip plan because um, I wanted to get a mixture of big water and close-in creeks and whatnot. This trip, I guess, is really all about uh, putting the, the kayak to the test. Uh, seeing how it does on the portages. Did really well yesterday on the one short flat level portage. Uh, but today I got a few more and we'll see how it does on those. We'll see how I do on those. Well, this is interesting. I hear rushing water, but I don't see a portage sign. Nothing indicated on the map. Oh, beaver dam. Yes, sir. This is my first ever beaver dam crossing. And there's a rushing water. Part of this might just be getting back in the kayak. Maybe not. That wasn't too bad at all. Alright, okay, and we're off. And we're off. Okay, so here's the start of my 490 some meter portage. It's quite the set of stairs they built in here. They must have a real problem with erosion, foot traffic. What's not indicated on the map is another portage right there. And on the sign, it's just marked low water portage. Now, this creek here is really shallow and really slow current and if there's a 400 meter portage going up a four meter incline i bet there's a waterfall or something up this way and i'm going to go check it out so i just talked to a few guys who are on the portage trail i asked them if they knew what they're portaging around and basically it's just some shallows so i think maybe i'll uh, just get my feet wet a bit in a couple places here and i'll be all be fine inches of water right now. You couldn't put a canoe through this. Yeah. Time to get my feet wet. So with my pack in the back of the kayak, if I lift the front and drag, when I drag the back, on the bottom. But if you go to the back, I can lift a little bit and the front doesn't drag. Okay, maybe a little. So that was pretty cool. I just skipped two portages so far today. If you're willing to get your feet a little wet. Not too shabby. So I'm just going to take a little breather here, finish off my coffee, and I think when I get to the to the uh, portage that I have to do, it's a 200 meter around a dam, can't go through that, then I'll uh, stop and have a little snack, maybe uh, trade my coffee in for some water. Nice way to spend the day. So, I thought I was heading into Baby Joe. Turns out I'm in a smaller lake called Lost Joe. 
know why they call it lost. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's do this. Too bad. You can get in the kayak without getting everything wet. <sighs> well, that was refreshing anyway. Not out of the woods yet. Hmm. I'm hung up. Now we're into Baby Joe. For real this time. Well, I'm going to be quick because I don't know how much battery I have left. Um, just as my camera cut out earlier, um, I met up with a fella named Larry from the Algonquin Adventure site. Turns out he's the same fella I met on Rock Lake, uh, along with Rob, and so we spent most of the day together. We uh, we were both soloing, and so we combined forces and soloed uh, all the way to Sunbeam uh, together. And he's somewhere on Sunbeam. I'm here. I had a great steak tonight in my stovetop stuffing, of course, and uh, having a great time. I got my hammock set up near the water, and I sat out on a rock and uh, uh, watch the full moon rise. So I'm going to sign off for tonight and maybe save a little battery for tomorrow.